Forward Thinking is sponsored by the Maine Education Association. Well, video games aren't just video games anymore. They're now being used as teaching tools. And in this week's Forward Thinking, uh, they're also showing a way to show a group of students in Falmouth how to come together as a team. Three, two, one, go. They're really into it. At least a couple of days a week. But now I'm coming back with a vengeance. 25 students at Falmouth High School. Knock up depends on how far you've gone. Get together and play video games in the library. I'm just playing video games with my friends. <laughs> but for this group, it's about a lot more than just having fun. And you've gone. Welcome to the training ground for the FHS Fire eSports team. eSports is basically video games mm -hmm. um, as a sport. Sport, right for high school kids. Dan Woloski is the coach of the first year program. He says it's part of the school's STEM education, teaches good hand and eye coordination, it's competitive, and much more. So one of the big worries about kids playing video games is there's no socialization. There's they're not learning how to you know work with each other, and that couldn't be further from the truth. Actually, they're not only are they talking and, and working with each other, you know they're collaborating. You know, they're building strategy. They're assessing what they didn't do well and then, and then trying to fix that. Falmouth has four teams that compete in four different video games against opponents all across the country, and there are three seasons. Right now, most of our teams are doing pretty well uh, in this season. It's run like a regular season, like a, you know, a football season would run uh, with a win-loss um, style like that. Not only do players learn how to win and lose as a team, What's your shield? but build self-confidence as well. It lets kids, um, you know, come out of the shadows of, you know, I'm a gamer to I'm a gamer and I'm proud to be a gamer and I'm actually representing my team and my school. After playing video games at home for years as individuals, players say being part of a team has been a great learning experience. You really have to be able to talk and trust other people in a quick situation. Uh, you don't have enough time to second guess. You just have to learn to trust the other people on your team. These students are on the ground floor of high school esports in Maine. Now they feel the sky's the limit. I'd just recommend that other schools start adopting esports because it's getting more popular and uh, colleges are now allowing uh, scholarships for video games, which is weird, but they're out there.